Okay, let's fix this. Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, everybody. We have another class here on soon, as you may know. We're going to have our last class of this week and also our last class of this module, which is class number 16. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. Welcome. It's nice to have you all. And I hope all of you are okay at home. Thank you so much. Don't forget also that you have where well, you have you gotta finish the exercise that are on the platform so you can get your di diploma right from this module. Yes, don't forget that. So um let's see what we got for today. We're gonna have like a short review on some content. As you may know, we've been working with um well, pretty much, I think one of the big ones, uh, big, uh, let's say, topics that we have in this module, and which is about a present perfect and simple pass. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of, of this uh, review on these two. Okay, so um, let me show you. Here we go. Class number 16, we have review and vocabulary. That's the one we're gonna work. Yep. So welcome. This is class number um 16. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna start with the first thing, which is present perfect and the past. We've been working with these two. And I think like these are somehow difficult to deal with them, but the more we get into it, we can get these ones somehow uh, easier, I guess. So with a finished time yesterday, last week, etc., we use the past simple. Yes, arrive, so and was, okay? So we have past plus finish time. So this is the past sentence, as you may see here, yeah? Here you have the past sentence, right? We arrived. And then we have the expressions that are related to a finish action. When? Yesterday, last week, at three o'clock, in 2002, six months ago. Here we have the expressions, right? These are finish time. Yesterday, last week, six months ago. So this is about past tense. So all of these is like examples of finished time expressions are related to past past tense. Okay. Any question about this vocabulary here in this slide? Do you understand everything? Ana, Cristina, Peña, do you understand everything here? Yes or no? Let me know. Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. You okay, thank you so much. And any one of you got a, got a question about this? Let me know. Here we have some examples. Do me a favor. Um, let me see. Sandra Noemi Pimentel, please read the examples. Thank you. I saw Paula yesterday. Don't I have seen? Where were you on Sunday afternoon? Not where have you been? We didn't have a holiday last year. No, we haven't had. How did you do last night? I stayed at home. William is keepers live from 1564 to uh, uh, one six and uh, one six we he was uh, right he want many plants and ponds use the past was went 
or what time? When do you buy your computer? No, when have you both? What time did Andy go out? No, what time has Andy go, gone out? Thank you so much. Okay, so one more time. This is the past tense, right? When we have a specific time in the past. That's what we're dealing here. Everything that we're going to use with past simple, you got to be specific about it, right? When or what time. Any question about something here, vocabulary or any related to grammar? Do you understand everything here? Maria Vilma Cortez, do you understand everything here in this slide? <laughs> do you understand, like, entiende lo que está acá on the screen? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. If you have a question at home, let me know. We have William Shakespeare. Okay. And now we're going to have some differences, right? We are going to compare the present perfect, the past tense. For example, I have lost my key. I have lost my key. So I just communicate that I lost that, right? I, I'm not saying when. Yes. So, and if you want to talk about when you lost your key, you need to use the past simple. Ben has gone home. Okay, and if you want to use the past simple, you need to be specific about the time. So you can say, Ben went home 10 minutes ago. Have you seen Kate? I mean, I, I'm asking you if you've seen her, right? Not on a specific time. But if you want to know at the specific time, you need to use the past tense. When did you see Kate on Saturday? You see? So here with past, we are being specific about it. But with present perfect, no. We are just asking information about this. And then we can work from then. Yes? Until now. So that means that the action is still happening. Here we have another one. Have you ever been... Have you ever been to Spain? Yes? Right? So I'm asking you if have you ever, like somehow in your life till now, like if you've been there. And if you want to know the specific time, you need to use the past. Did you go to Spain last year? So I'm being specific. Again, my friend is a writer. He has written many books. Again, Shakespeare wrote many plays and poems. The letter hasn't arrived yet. The letter didn't arrive yesterday. Uh, we've lived in Singapore for six years. We live in Glasgow for six years. But now we live in Singapore. Okay. So one more time with present perfect. We are not as specific about something that we have done, but with past simple, yes, you are specific about it. Yes. Let me check the chat. Somebody raw here. Liliana, thank you so much. It's nice to have you and good evening. Any question about these examples? No? Okay, because I've got a question for you. Uh, let me see. Juan, hello, Juan. Good evening. Nice to have you. Good evening, teacher. Um, nice to have you. Listen, uh, ex tell me, what are the difference between the present perfect and the past simple? Uh, es como para diferenciar entre uh, algo como algo que asegurar, algo así, y algo como que está como por pasar o pasando, ¿no? Um. Not quite good. Somehow, yes, but somehow, no. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you explain to me uh, what, what, is, what are the difference between 
or what is the difference between the present perfect and the past simple? Well, I, I can. Lo que pude entender es de que en el presente en el presente perfecto estamos como diciendo una especie de acción que se está realizando en el momento. Is that present perfect or present continuous? Present perfect. Okay. Como el primer ejemplo que, que aparece acá, eh? I have lost my key. Abajo no sale qué es lo que lo que lo que realmente significa. Okay. Is this action in the past or in the present? And in the present. Okay. Thank you so much. It's not it's not perfect. And, and what about the past the past tense, Jorge? Um, I don't Teacher. understand. I mean, Teacher. when do yes? I understand uh, what the uh, past tense is más specific. Oh, yes. Very good. Just a quick, Ana. Los dos están hablando del past or just this past or this present perfect? Uh, in past is más specific. Oh, oh yes, that is past correct. Tense. That is correct. Okay. Just a, just a quick question, Ana. Los dos están hablando de past events o solo el past, simple. Eh, lo, lo dos. Oh, los dos, bueno. uno es pasado eh, que se llama perfecto y el otro pasado simple, ¿verdad? Oh, this is present perfect. Pre present perfect. Present Very perfect. good. Very good, Ana. Good job. Ok, entonces, si sí, las dos acciones, right, están sí. en el past. However, este es specific about the past, el past simple. Very good, Ana. Y este present perfect, la acción, pues sucedió, right? In the past, y puede ser que todavía esté sucediendo in the present. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Entonces, las dos actions, yes. Las dos son en pasado. However, este como tiene present, probably puede ser que todavía estemos, yes, having this thing. Okay. Y el past es algo que realmente ya pasó, ¿verdad? Exacto. Así como el, el, el primer ejemplo del, del segundo, del past, que le dice, I lost my keys last week, como que lo perdió ya la semana pasada, o sea, pasó ya. Exacto, Juan. Very good. Okay. Ahora, okay. ahora okay. Hay, hay situaciones que tenemos que decir, right, pues que empezaron, right, en el past, pero todavía, pues, están sucediendo, right, o todavía las estoy yeah. viviendo. Yes. Entonces, para ese tipo de situations, situations, necesito el present perfect. All yes. Right. Oh, okay. ¿Sí? Porque si ocupo, ocupo el past, no pega, porque el past es specific. It's, it's something in the past y ya estuvo. Right. Pero yeah. hay things, pues que yo las empecé, right, y todavía, todavía continúo haciéndolas. Ya. Yeah. Por pues ejemplo, si trabajo. Exacto. Entonces, para ese tipo de situations or activities, pues yo voy a utilizar the present perfect. Por eso, este es not specific, como decía your, your classmate, right? This is not okay. specific. Este solo comunica, right? Something que he estado haciendo, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's, that's the difference between these two. Okay. Very good. Questions about this? Freddy, Claudia, Sandra? Anybody at home? Any question about this? The present, see, present perfect and the past simple. Okay. Now, the difficult part with present perfect is 
the first one is identify when do we use it. This is the first, the first difficult part. The second part is con los verbs. And that's another headache. Is a headache. So yes, thinking about the past participle form of the verbs, right? So that's a headache. With this one, creo que es simple because solo voy al pasado, right? Y algunas phrases like last week, 10 minutes ago, on Saturday. Yes, I went to New York last year. Hasta ahí. But with this one, somehow it's difficult because tengo que buscar el, el past participle de cada uno de los verbs. Y si usted se fija, it changes, mire. Gone. And yeah, this one is when, so it changes a little bit. Salvo que sea regular. Is that it's a regular verb? Well, that's easier because usually both are quite the same. Okay, okay. Now, let me show you another example. Here, complete the answers to the questions. So here we have the question. Have you seen Kate? I saw her five minutes ago. What is the answer to the next question? Have you started your new job? What is the answer? Yes, I have. Oh, yes, but we need to have another sentence here. Aquí nos, no puedo poner yes, I have, porque según el example first, de un solo me tira la sentence, right? So, entonces, after this, I need a sentence. So, which, what is the answer here? Have you started your new job? I have been. Yeah, but look at look at the expressions at the end. Five minutes ago, last week at five o'clock on Friday. Yes. Okay, I started. Very good. My new job last week. Yes. Yes, I started last week. So if you notice here, it's a combination between the present perfect and the past simple based on the context. I don't know if you're getting that part. Yes. So that means that means like when you when you have a question with the present perfect, no siempre va a contestar con el present perfect, right? Depending on the reality that you are having, pues usted puede contestar with past. Yes. Right, you can be specific about something, even though the question is in present perfect. If you see all the questions are with present perfect, right? Have your friends arrived? Yes, they have arrived at five o'clock. Okay, again, arrive. At five o'clock. ¿Por qué estoy ocupando pass here? You not present perfect in the answer? Oh, yeah. ¿Por qué estoy ocupando this, this past simple here in the answer? Evers, thank you. Uh, okay. Porque está especificando. Very good, Ana. Exactly. Very good. Porque aquí, miren, estas phrases here, todas son specific. Ahora, si yo no tuviera esto, ahí, yes. Have you seen Kate? Yes, I've seen her. Ahí sí, right? Ahí sí puedo utilizar el present perfect en la answer. Pero en las respuestas, if you notice here, todas ellas me dan un specific time. <gasps> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry started and then arrive what is the number in the next one has sarah gone what is the verb sarah, sarah went away on friday uh-huh yes. yes 
Sarah went. Okay, she, very good. She went on Friday. Yes. What about the last one? Have you worn your new soup? Yes, I I yes, wore I worn it yesterday. I wore I think it's wore like this one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Warm, yes. I guess it's but with N. Exactly. But I think with, yeah, it's war. Yes, I wore. Uh, let's say my suit. My suit. My suit. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, I wore my suit yesterday, right? So again, this is about uh, working with the context. You know what I mean? If you want to communicate something specific, you need to use the past tense. And if you want to talk about something like without being specific, you need to use the present perfect. Also in real life, when you have a question, with simple present and you want to answer with simple past, that is okay as well. You know what I mean? Yes. So you can, here is the difficult part because you need to be like dealing with, with different scenarios, depending on the context you want to say. Any question about this? Any question? No? Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Give me a minute, please. Oh, look at this one. Present perfect or past tense? Freddy, number three, please. Number three. Um, I, I read, read the full test so you can have more details about it, okay? Lea ah, todo okay. so you can have more details about it. Only three, only three. <laughs> yes, number three. Yes, just number I... three. <laughs> only play, played uh, tennis yesterday afternoon. Okay, mm -hmm. used to be used to be clear. Present perfect or past? Uh, past. Past. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Played. You tell me right. I played tennis yesterday afternoon. Very good. How do you know that is past, Freddy? Uh, because uh, the action is is uh, yesterday. Exactly. It's a specific, right? It's a specific. I did this action. Exactly. Very good. So the action is specific. Very good. Thank you so much. Claudia, next one, number four. What time? Did you go. Excuse me. What time did you go to bed last night? That is correct. Did you go to bed last night? Thank you so much. Very good. Jocelyn Tatiana, number five. Jocelyn, no. Jenny, Jenny Marisol. Oh, Jocelyn, thank you. Number, number five, Jenny. Jocelyn. Oh, Jose. Okay, Jose. Thank you so much for letting me know. Jocelyn, please. Number five. Jocelyn, can you do it? 
Um, how you ever meet a famous person? Okay. Have you ever meet? Thank you so much. Daniela, is this correct? Daniela, are you here? Janie, do you think this is correct? Janie, Jacqueline? This is correct, yes. Juan Jose? For... Maria, do you ever? Mm. No. Do you oh. ever? Do you ever? Uh, Juan, thank you so much, but that is incorrect. Thank you. Oh, somebody changed the verb. What is the verb here? Have you ever met? Oh, yes. Very good. Meet. Met. Okay. Met. So, Met. yes. Right. So, this one is the is the challenge, right? Because we need to be working with the past participle verbs, right? So, we have meet, met, met. Yes. Very good. Have you ever met a famous person? Mire, en la cuestión no soy específico, right? It's, I'm just talking about en tu vida, right? Have you ever met a famous person? Yeah. Just la tenchis, I guess. Right, and Cocolito. Okay, thank you. Let's work with the next one. Okay, well, let me see. Volunteers for the next one. Remember, this is about trying. If you have a mistake, no se preocupe, right? Don't worry about mistakes. Just try it. This is like practicing. Number six, volunteers. Thank you, Freddy. Number six. Uh, the weather uh, wasn't very good yesterday. That's perfect. That's right. The weather wasn't. The weather wasn't very good yesterday. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, for the next one, number seven, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Oh, Edith, excuse me. Kitty travels a lot. She visited. Okay. Do you do you think cree usted que la sentence es specific or no es specific, Edith? specific for, for many countries. Okay, so that one's you, you she visited, you tell me, right? Visited. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, Jacqueline? Jacqueline? Very good. Yes, she has, she has visited, Edith. This is present perfect, Edith. Okay. ¿Por, qué pres ¿Por qué present perfect? Porque no tengo alguna frase que sea specific. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Qué cree que entiende usted cuando yo digo specific? ¿Qué frases pueden ser specific? Tal vez un lugar, digamos, un nombre de algún país. Que allí dice muchos países. Uh -huh. Yes, a, a lot, a lot, right? Pero no es specific, right? Entonces, okay. that's good. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you, Jacqueline, as well. Very good. Next one, number eight. Volunteers for number eight. Uh huh. Daniela Mercedes Olivares. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Good evening. Nice to have you. Number eight, please. Um, 
Um, I have. I'm sorry. I switched. I don't know how we switch in in past participle. I'm sorry. That's okay. Is that irregular or regular verb, Daniela? I think it's a, a regular verb. That is correct. So what do I need when I when I got when I have a regular verb, what do I do? So it's switched with exactly. ED. In exactly. The app. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is correct. Perfect. Continue. Read this full sentence, please, Daniela. Thank you. Okay. I switched off the light before going out this morning. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Number nine. Volunteers. For number nine. Jacqueline. Thank you, Jacqueline. Janessi, la number 10 is for you. Okay. I'm sorry. Number 10. Okay, Jacqueline, number nine. Excuse me, Excuse me I, I don't hear you, Jacqueline. Your microphone, I think, is not working very well because I don't, I don't, I don't hear you very well. <laughs> Yes, I don't, I don't hear you, Jacqueline. I'm sorry. There is an issue with your microphone because I don't, I don't hear you very well. Uh, I hope you can fix that, okay? Um, Marcos, can you help? Oh, Marcos, are you here? Yes. Let me check. Marcos, can you help us with number nine? Um, can you do it? Oh, no, he's, he's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, I live, live with the, uh, I live in New York now, but I uh, be chair. I'll be chair. I'll leave it. I... Oh, excuse me, Marcos. Uh, so yeah, I have lived in Mexico for many years. Okay. Thank you so much, Marcos. Very good. Freddy, go ahead. Number 10. Oh, uh, number nine. Yes. What do you think about ah. number nine? Um, uh, one moment. I live in New York now, um, but I have lived... Uh, um, in Mexico for many years. Okay, so this is present perfect. Yes, number nine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. What do you think about mm -hmm. it? Uh, this is for the rest of the class, right? What do you think about number nine? It's, it's simple. Uh, I'm sorry, present perfect or past simple? Present perfect. Past simple. Okay. Anna, she's saying past simple, right, Anna? Very good. Another opinion about it? Same. Another opinion? Past simple or, or present perfect? Present perfect. One with present perfect. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, present perfect. Daniela, what do you think? Santos, what do you think? Number nine is simple, like past simple, just past, or edit, or just present perfect? Yeah, I think it's past simple, but... No, because at the beginning it's saying like, I live in New York right now. Now yes, I, I live in New York, but I have lived 
Yeah, in Mexico for many years. So that's the present perfect or, or past simple. Based on the context, what I'm what I'm I'm asking you is like, do you see the context of this sentence talking about something with present perfect or something with past simple? Oh, thank you so much, Jacqueline and Anna. You are right. Here we have past simple, right? Past simple. Yes. Estoy con, con, comunicando something, right? Que hice en el pasado. Yes. Right now, don't you? In New York, right? But I lived in Mexico for many years. So, uh, so this one is with past simple based on the context, you know what I mean? Yes. And um, give me a minute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Janie, hello, Janie. I think it was Janie, that was Janie, I guess. No. Not oh, Janessi, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> Janessi. Thank you, number 10, Janessi. Okay, uh, what's Canada like? It's beautiful. I don't know, I haven't been there. I haven't been there. Oh, very good, yes, I haven't. Okay. I haven't, very good. Haven't been there. I haven't been, exactly, I haven't been there. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. So this is the present perfect and also the past simple. And again, it looks like a piece of cake, but it's not, the case. it's not the case. This topic, as you may know, this is intermediate number two, right? And this topic to di differentiate the present perfect and the past simple, this is one of the most difficult topics that you can have. Yes, pretty much with present perfect. Present perfect is the challenge here. And my suggestion is try to use it as much as possible. I need to take the attendance really quick. Manage. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz, please. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Present. Thank you and welcome. Briseida Janeth Garcia de Crespin. I think Briseida wrote in the chat. Let's, let me double check that one really quick. Briseida, no? But I think she's here. Probably she's busy. Yeah, she's here, but she doesn't answer. Okay, let's carry on with Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Good evening, nice to have you. Claudia Genesi Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. I'm here, teacher. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I hear, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo. Edwin, I think you told me that you're busy, right? Let me double check. Oh, no, he isn't. He isn't here. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Elisa Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Just give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. I did something here that is not good. Well, I fixed that. I'm sorry. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present teacher. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Welcome. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar. Iliana, I think you're here, right, but Oh, thank you so much, Iliana. It's nice to have you, and I hope you get well soon. Welcome. Uh, Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo, good evening. Jacqueline Vanessa Ma Rodriguez Sanchez, good evening. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Hello, Janie. 
Are you here? Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, she is here. Okay, what about Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro? Present. Nice to have you and good evening. Uh, Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra, you are here, right? Thank you so much. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present, teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Thank you, Juan. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Good evening. Nice to have you. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, Good evening and Good welcome. Evening. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Maria, thank you so much and welcome. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Thank you so much. She's here, but she doesn't answer. Rona Rafael Cruz Amaya. Good evening, teacher. Present. Nice to have you and welcome. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Santas Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jenny. And Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. Nice to have you all, people. Thank you so much. Let's carry on with this then. As you may know, we're working with uh, the present perfect. We're going to have some vocabulary. As you may Oh, Jacqueline? Oh, yes, I got, I got you here on the list. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Okay. Thank perfect. you. My pleasure. So we're going to have this vocabulary, right? The ones that we've been practicing so far. Read the information, please, Claudia. Go ahead. All the information, teacher? Yes, please. Okay. Make a vocabulary log. Write words or draw pictures to help you remember. Bake, bread, cake, cookies. Do homework, housework. Drive a bus, a sports car, a truck. Make coffee, tea. Ride a bike, a bicycle, a, a, a horse, a motorcycle. Speak English, Spanish. Take a class, a test, a vacation. Watch a parade, a soccer game, TV, television. Thank you so much. In addition to that, we've been working with present perfect and past simple. There are some things that we can communicate easily with present perfect and there are other things that we can communicate easily with past. Yes, right? So which ones, let me see, do you think goes with present perfect or which one do you think goes with simple past? Freddy, for example, the, this verb bake, okay? Um, please make a question using this verb and also one of the vocabulary that we have over there. Uh, bake uh, is uh, uh, I don't know what what is bake. Oh, bake! Look at the picture. Uh, Here a, a we have bread, cookies. cake, and cookies. Right? What do you think? Uh, uh, oh, but this one is is the verb, is the action, is the action. Okay. Uh, it uh, is it? the action, like like uh -huh. for ex like for example, en una en una oh en una coffee shop or en una bakery, right? Yes. Uh, sell. Sell. Uh, sell. No, a bake es hornear, right? O o hacer. O ah, cocinar. bake. Uh -huh. oh, but bake. But because these products, el bread, el cake, and el cookies, tiene que meterle en un, en un horno, right? So you need to bake it. Ah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's why we have the, the bread. I mean, 
Which one do you think is easier for you to talk? Past simple or present perfect? Um, um, present perfect. Okay, can you make a question using this verb and also this vocabulary, please? Mm, um, I, I have uh, baked. No, a question, a question. Uh, Ah, question. Mm -hmm. uh, how have you have you bake a bread? Uh, oh, thank you. Very this good. morning. Oh, this morning. this this morning is a specific or what do you think? Uh, it's a specific. Exactly. So you need to use a specific with present perfect, yes or no? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> no. Okay. No, exacto. Cuando usted es specific, va con el past simple. Ah, okay. Ahora, cuando no quiere ser specific, oh, oh. exactly, va con present. Present perfect. Exactly. Right. Entonces viene usted y le pregunta a su chera, right? Va a su chera. Hey, have you ever baked bread? How do you answer uh, this question, um, Sandra? No, I haven't. Very good. Thank you so much, right? Yes. Ahora, let's suppose, let's suppose que sí lo ha hecho, right? ¿Cómo contesta eso? Yes, I have. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Y aquí es donde usted, in addition, puede ser specific con el simple past. I did it yesterday. Okay. I did it last week. If, if you want to, right? If you want to. Or you can say, oh, yes, I have. Uh, I took classes in 2000, I don't know, 18. Yes, right. When you answer like, like this one, oh Jesus, give me a minute. Okay, yes, I, sorry, yes, I have, right? That is your answer. Ahora, aquí, usted me contesta, yes, I have, right? Ahora, para que yo no le haga otra cuestión, viene usted y me comenta cuándo hizo eso. Yes, right. Just to be specific. Ahora, como usted es specific en your answer, tiene que utilizar el past simple. Right. I, um, I don't know. You can use I did it um, last month. Yes, okay. Yes. And because here, yes, you are being specific, that's why, oh, geez, you need to use the past simple. Yes? So it's like a combination of these two tenses, right? Okay, thank you so much. Questions here? Entonces, cuando respondemos, si podemos combinar este ambos... Exactly, that is correct, Edith. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted solo me contesta con un yes, I have, ok, pues yo le voy a preguntar when, cuándo, right? When. Okay. Ahora, para que yo no le pregunte ese, ese, eso, eso, right? Usted un solo me dice, right? Pues con el simple pass, eh, when you did it. Yeah. Ok. Perfect, wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. We have the verb do. Uh, Juan, Jose. Look at the verb do, Juan. And then we have the vocabulary, Juan. Homework and housework. Okay, like, make a question, Juan, Jose. Either past or present perfect. Hello, Juan. Juan, are you there? No, are you busy? Are you busy? No? Okay, um, let me see. Janie, hello, Janie. 
Hello, Janie. No? Okay, no Janie. What about oh Liliana, she's busy. What about uh, Tiffany? Hello, Tiffany. No? Oh Tiffany. Okay. Jose oh well, Jose is busy, right? Uh, Cindy. What about you, Cindy, with the word do? A question? That could be, I don't know, present perfect or simple past. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. No. Okay. What about Janessi? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody wrote in the chat. Okay. Yes, Cindy. Very good. Simple pass. Make a, make a question, Cindy, with simple pass. Using the verb do and the vocabulary that is there. You can write it in the chat if you want. Janessi Alexandra. Hello. Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you. Make a, a sentence. I can't um, um... With the word do and the vocabulary. The, the sentence could, the question, the question could be present, perfect, or simple pass. You okay. pick one. Um, do you like cookies? Oh, do you like simple present or present perfect? Um, simple present. Oh, yes, but I need a question with present perfect or simple pass. Uh, I identificar eso. <laughs> oh, yes, but let's say past. I got me a question with past tense. With past okay. tense. Pass. Cuál es? Oh, con past tense para la question utilizamos did. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, did you eat my cookies? Oh no, here we no. do. We ah, do. oh do. Uh, did you do the homework? Oh, very good, very good. Janessa, right? Yeah. Did you do the homework? Okay. Ahí tiene mm -hmm. Spanish interference, Janessa. Esto que está acá se le llama Spanish interference, okay? So vamos oh. a dejarlo. Did you do your homework? Yes. Did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? Mm. Okay. Not the yes. homework because that's the Spanish internet, right? Very good. ¿Cómo contesta esta question, Janessi? Um, no, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus, you're in trouble, right? <laughs> no, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, I apologize. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Very good. Thank you. The next question is the next word is drive. Jorge, make a question with the word drive. You can select present perfect or past simple. Present perfect. Okay, please go ahead. Um, and use this vocabulary. You can use this vocabulary. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. Here, here you have an example. If, yeah, if, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I look. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, how you drive? Okay. Uh, a sports car. Okay. I'm gonna have ever. Uh, drive is the verb in present, past, or past participle. Present, past, or past participle? Present. Exactly. Right? Entonces, cuando utilizo el present perfect, ¿cuál ocupo? Present, past, or past participle? Eh, past. 
No, I'm sorry. Uso no. el past, el past participle. Ok. Past, past. Entonces, el verb drive, voy a escribirlo acá. Drive. ¿Cuál es el past tense of drive, Jorge? Driver. Draw, very good. ¿Y cuál es el, pa, el, el past participle? Oh, driven. Ok. Driven. Exacto. ¿Cuál de estos tres voy a ocupar ahí, Jorge? Driven. Exactly, very good. So, there you go. Give me a minute, please. Okay, so have you ever driven? And what is the vocabulary? A sports car. Exactly, a sports car. Okay, so have you ever driven a sport car? Have you ever driven a sports car? Yes. Very good, Freddy. Thank you so much. Okay. So, aquí es donde le decía, right? La difficult part está en los verbs. Con el present sí. perfect. Because it's like, you need to figure it out. How do you answer this question, Jorge? Uh, Ana, usted va con el siguiente verb, que es make. Piense en una cuestión con pasado o en present perfect. Jorge, so Jorge, ¿cómo contesta esta? Have you ever driven a sport car? I have. I haven't. Oh, no. No, I, 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 I have. Very good. No, I have it. Oh, my gosh. No, I have it. Very good. Yes. Pretty good. So, Ana, with the verb make and the vocabulary, tenemos coffee and tea. La quiero hacer como present perfect. Okay, thank you. Have you ever made coffee? Okay. Have you ever made coffee? Oh, my gosh. Made con D. Made. Oh, oh, made. I'm sorry. Have you ever made coffee? Okay. Very good. Have you ever made coffee? Is this correct? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Freddy? Yes, I have. It's correct. The verb made. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> yes. Por eso le pregunto, right? Is this correct? Mating, 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 maybe. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. Uh, okay, so tenemos a uh, make. Uh, make, made, mating. Yes. Double check, double check. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, right. With N. Mm -hmm. I think so. With the N is N. Okay. Let me Maybe. see. Just, I'm checking, Rick, just to, just to be sure, because I, I don't remember. I just uh, forgot. I'm not sure. <laughs> Neither do I. Yes. Um. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, Anna. Beautiful. Yes, I have. Okay, aquí en esta, Anna, aquí es donde podemos agregar el past tense. Yes, I have. Y luego, ¿cuándo hizo esto, right? <laughs> Pero lo que pasa, Ana, que en esta, en esta cuestión que usted me hizo, pues si usted la pregunta a alguien, se escucha bien sarcástico, right? Es como que le sirven el coffee y, le, y lo prueba, right? And then you say, hey, have you ever made coffee before? Yes. Entonces, my suggestion sería que la cuestión sería with pass. Okay. Did you did you uh make did you did I'm sorry, did you make coffee yesterday? Or did you make coffee today in the morning? Yes, because si usted le dice eso a alguien, pues la gente se va a ofender. That's for sure. Yes, porque le va a decir, oh Jesus, usted no te gusta, right? Yes, you know what I mean? Ana? Sí, o sea, la sentence grammatically is correct, pero en contexto. We, we don't say that. We don't say, have you ever made coffee before? <laughs> yes. 
pues es, suena como offensive, ok. Yeah, so, so be careful with that one. Yes. Okay. Sí. Por eso les comentaba, hay algunos verbs que yes, los podemos hacer eh, present perfect according to the vocabulary y hay algunos pues que, o sea, todos se pueden hacer, right? Pero en context, yeah. we need yeah. to be careful. You know what I mean, Freddy? Without sugar, please. <laughs> <laughs> no sugar, ok, no sugar yes. Ok, so, bueno, vamos a dejarlos acá Felicitarlos eh, por pues, todo lo que han colaborado right, durante el curso Y motivarlos a continuar pues, aprendiendo it's, no, it's not a piece of cake, no es pan dulce with coffee No es pastry with coffee Así que eh, no se desanime, right? Sí, siga adelante, practice No tenga miedo de equivocarse Yes Because eh, this thing, that's the way it goes. Okay, vaya a pedir la visa and we will see you in New York. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. In Washington, bye. In Washington, DC. Take Thank you. care. <laughs> My pleasure. Good night. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye.